Hey, brothers, I was wondering what you thought about dating girls who have a much different personality and lifestyle from your own. I have this friend, and I was thinking about asking her out sometime soon, but the more I just hang out with her, I see that her lifestyle is very different from my own. She's the kind of girl who would go out to a party at night. Well, I would rather spend a night relaxing in my dorm room. And now, I just question whether having a different lifestyle should stop me from asking her out at all. That's from asking in Alaska. No, it shouldn't stop you. Next. I mean, it could oh, be exciting, tr- right? That's love. That's, it that, can't, yes. How, what's with the whole wants? I mean, not a lot can be done about that. Although, I mean, will it force you? You have to realize that in a, in, in a sense, this could be very good for you. Right, like every, I think it's good to have that balance in a relationship. Absolutely, where one person wants to do this, another person wants to do another thing, and you find a happy medium. Now there might be some friction as mm-hmm. a as a result. You're gonna, but I think it, it it's better for yourself in the long run. It's better for for your day to day. Just be prepared to. You're gonna have to be prepared to be flexible about it. You're gonna have to be prepared to, you know, to, to give to, a little. Exactly. I, I would say the uh, the only concern I would have about it is if her behavior is in any way self destructive, like yeah. you know if if by partying mean like she's going out and just you know doing a bunch of drugs and destroying herself, then I could see why that would be a problem. But if she just likes to have a good time and hang out with her friends and is a social person, then maybe you know you know when you're in that relationship, maybe there's a balance where you go out more often than you normally would. And she stays home with you more often than she normally would. And you find a good balance and kind of, you know, are good for each other. Guys, what we're dealing with here is a classic, along came poly scenario. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Classic poly. Uh, What you got to do is you got to just let, let, let yourself live, let yourself love, let yourself. And then eat some sidewalk nuts. Don't, Eat spicy Indian food at a party and then have diarrhea. And sure. wipe your butt with a ferret, if I remember correctly. Oh, is that really that? Can, oh God! Can you stop dropping like specific references to this movie? Like you just watched it this week. It really creeps me out when you do that. So you don't want me to talk about like you got to watch out for when you go on your honeymoon and then your wife sleeps with the scuba instructor, as played by Hank Azaria. No, I don't want to know about any more Along Came Polly related things. Travis, when you go is, see your best friend Philip Seymour Hoffman in Jesus Christ Superstar at a community theater, can this you not? is a new year. It's a new slate, and you are muddying that slate with your shit, with your human feces, which is along came Polly. Yeah, but to be fair, that movie did introduce me to the word shark. So, okay, well, as it introduced we- America, sir, <laughs> sir, uh, and all our lives are richer for it. I would never take that away. From from Philip Seymour Hoffman, but you know you can guys can give me shit all you want to, but I'm just preparing to be qualified for my dream job as a Long Came Polly historian. Okay, I that is my dream job too. However, I am woefully unqualified for it. I'm <laughs> not my dream job. Sir. Have you seen that super meta movie One Night at the Along Came Polly Museum? <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It's about Ben Stiller working in a, 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 a museum for Along Came Polly, and then all the characters come to life. Very and he is still very, very sad. Could not keep and my Stiller straight. The, actually, the role of the, the Ben Stiller mannequin when he comes to life is played by Hank Azaria. Hmm. It gets mm. very confusing. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And Owen Wilson, I bet, is in there somewhere, too. You know he's in the mix. Maybe playing Luke Wilson, just to further muddy that. Weird. I Just add, just just try it. What's yeah. the worst that's going to happen? Just fuck, I mean, it's Listen. It's 20 does. does. I'm going to give this blanket advice out to everybody who's under the the thrall of my voice right now. It's 20 does. Get it. If you have a question about should I, the answer is get it. Yes. Get it. Just get it. And maybe it'll work out. Maybe it won't. But you won't know until you get it. Yes. No regrets in 20 does. Just say yes. Just say yes and get it. Just go on a rampage. We're going to go get high and then go to the bowling alley. Are you in? Yes. Get it. Yeah, I am. I want to do high bowling. I want to get strikes. I want to get <laughs> striked up. Let's go get striked up and let's go let's go bowl together. Do you want to go to a funeral with me? I would rather not, but I will. But I will. He does. Because I'm opening myself up to new experiences, even if they're depressing in some way. We'll huff some yeah. smelling salts. We'll rave. And we'll get it at the funeral. We'll see That's what we your see. grandma would want. That's what she would want is for to rave and get nuts. Twenty does, guys. I'm done. I'm done. 
equivocating <laughs> with, with people. I'm not, I'm so done. that's the slogan. 20 does. Rave at a funeral. Rave at a f- 20. Yes. We're going to rave into this, into the, the great good night that will come to claim us all uh, in late December. But until then, everybody, let's just give it a shot. I can't we? I am going to stave off Quetzalcoatl with two glow sticks on the top of a fucking mountain just blasting Skrillex. <laughs> just like, come get it! <laughs> ready for you! <laughs> Not this day! <laughs> if you're gonna eat me, you're gonna have to eat my stupid cat in the hat hat, too. <laughs> Asshole. Enjoy this adult-sized pacifier, you bitch! <laughs> Let's make Quetzalcoatl our bitch this year and just say <laughs> yes. Mm. Do I want to ask her out? Yeah, sure. She broke my heart. Ask again. Ask someone different. Ask that same person, but in a different way. Ask her out using a Quetzalcoatl line. Like, listen, time is limited here. We need to get moving. Can I ask you a Quetzalcoatl? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit.